James Clark Maxwell used the already existing laws from Ampere, Faraday and Gauss to describe electricity and magnetism as electromagnetism, one of the four forces in the physical universe. According to Maxwell's equations, electromagnetism is sine waves perpendicular to each other. It is illustrated in this diagram. The electric field is indicated in red and the magnetic field is indicated in blue, perpendicular to the electric field. As the electric field gets bigger, the magnetic field gets bigger. As the electric field reads zero, the magnetic field reads zero. The geometry is two fields perpendicular to each other and at the same time both are perpendicular to the direction of the wave. The theory about the standing wave structure of matter in space explains that the photon is absorbed in the orbit of the electron, speeds down to zero, hits the core of the atom, reverses its flow and speed up again, hitting the orbit of the electron once again and continues its travel by the speed of light. Antimatter is basically matter with reverse charge. An antihydrogen atom is an atom with a negative proton and a positive electron. It is a big mystery that practically all antimatter disappeared in the creation of the universe according to the Big Bang Theory. All particles in the universe has antiparticles, but very few compared to particles. Per definition, a photon is its own antiparticle. Electromagnetic radiation is energy. In the Christoia theory, we define positive energy as the energy in the upsurge of the sine wave and negative energy as the downsurge. Electromagnetic radiation thereby consists of positive energy and negative energy and the average energy of the photon in one wavelength is zero. So, where exactly is this antimatter and why doesn't the universe annihilate in pure energy? The answer is that everything is electromagnetism. Photons are real and they do not annihilate in pure energy. Every space-time unit, also named the Christoia, has created its own photons and they consist of positive energy and negative energy as described. The Christoia's creation of photons is an ongoing creation and counter-creation. Remember Einstein's E equal mc squared? Matter is just condensed energy. An atom is just a combination and condensation of many photons. When the photons created by one Christoia entangle with photons created by other Christoias, the combination of the involved separate mental parallel universes make up an atom, which in its spaces is a resonance of many combined photons and many separate mental parallel universes. At this era in subatomic physics, the only observational tool we have is electromagnetic radiation. From measuring the wavelengths and frequencies of photons, we make up our theories about electrons, positrons, protons, antiprotons, neutrons and antineutrons. The Christoia theory is based on the assumption that particles does not exist. Only vibrations, motion of energy in space, wavelengths and frequencies exist. Everything we observe is when photons resonate with other photons. Our mental universe, the images in our mind, consists of photons as everything else. It's just very, very few compared to all the photons that exist. Actually, it is one divided by close to infinite. The reason, of course, being that we have close to infinite separate mental parallel universes in the form of living entities called space-time units or Christoias. As the photon is defined by being its own antiparticle, antimatter is located in all these infinite parallel universes. As matter doesn't exist, antimatter doesn't exist either. Antimatter is as illusional as matter is. 
What physicists indirectly observe and define as antimatter is just a glimpse of entering these close to infinite separate mental parallel universes. The many parallel universes is often called the spiritual world, a very misdefined and misunderstood phenomenon. Photons consist of positive energy and negative energy. Photons exist and doesn't annihilate. When they condense and make up the illusion of matter and antimatter by resonance, they form the reality we observe when our heads bump into a wall. The only thing that exists is photons, vibrations of positive and negative energies in space and time. 